Hey, let's go check out the yurt. Let's go, dogs. Yeah, it's two and a half acres here, and this is down in the glen. I'll show you my yurt. So yeah, the yurt. What is that dog doing? She plays with sticks. She's such a stick dog. Both of them are. Come here, honey. Whoa, okay. Let's do a fireball. So, yeah, it's, what's it like living in a yurt? Show some, some artwork here. Oh yeah, artwork all over the place. And Buddha lives here. Up in the trees. Yes. And here's the yurt. So, yeah. What's it like? Living in a yurt. We'll find out. Let's go check it out. All this way. So, uh, it's 19 feet across. It's known as a uh, six wall uh, 19 footer. And uh, it's got this beautiful... It's made out of fabric, cotton canvas, so you have to replace that. But yeah, check out this door, this beautiful door. So we'll go in. <laughs> Tippy wants to check it out. Go ahead, dogs. Come on, Sula, let's go inside. Oh, what's in here? Lower your head, because you can hit your head. But. This is what's inside of a yurt. And we walk through these beautiful rafters, poles, 100 of them, huns, and you got this beautiful opening. It's the wheel, the wheelhouse, all through here. So this is just an incredible feature to have. And then I have a fireplace that I made myself, a uh, traditional fireplace, and the fire goes in here. Doesn't it, Sula? She likes it. And then the dome, it's a rocket stove or a dragon stove. And um, you can live here, yeah, I have my, my bed, my carpet, it's a dirt floor. It's just nice in the summer, it's a little cold in the winter, and I have a seat, my throne. Which is the Fisher King art piece. I do these wood carvings. So yeah, it's that. And here it's the uh, Filipina style weavings, the lattice work, and my camp equipment. And my here, but it's a meditation sitting place is uh, the primary function of this for healing work. Uh, so people and myself have spent time here and dogs and uh, we have an altar that's dedicated towards hunting and animals not hunting so much but the the positive support that our animals need no longer can we really hunt um, like in the days of white feather where he could and the tribes could our our system we have no animals very few animals in the forest so this is to do ceremonial work and it's an ancient atlatl and you put these big arrows on through there and then practice shoot so just a friendly thing that shamanism does this uh ancient master my good friend my brother seventh generation builder of uh, the Mumbaki, he lives here part of the year, and we share this space. So yeah, this is the yurt. Yeah, thanks for coming in and, and checking this whole thing out like this. And um, yeah, just uh, really enjoy spending the time in here. And um, I'm excited to show you um, how this all works. So 
We'll see you soon. Another part of the, the property. Lots to show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. If you like it, man, be sure to like, subscribe, share, because this is your crazy uncle.